Welcome, here's another video on Fallout 4 Settlements. We're going to be covering Outpost Zimanja here. Now, Outpost Zimanja is actually over in that direction there. But I wanted to cover the tactic I used to get this place because this place uh, initially has a Boomer, which is a raider in uh, raider power armor, and carrying a fat man. In addition to that, there is a legendary raider and quiet across the at least run. one other Stay raider out there. that are down there that need to be killed in order to get this place. So, I approached by going up this here damage section of the freeway. Well, actually, before that, I went and, of course, got 10 pines bluff. Built an artillery came in there. And then I would just approach up this direction, sneak all the way down to that pillar there and throw in the artillery smoke grenade, of course. And then I would just sit there and wait behind this here pillar while the artillery shells rain down. I was in enough stealth that uh, it would go into caution but not into danger. So, I would just hang out here until that finished. Hopefully that took out, in my case, it did actually kill the regular raider and the boomer. So I just had the um, legendary to finish off, which was half damaged here under a survival mode. But it was mainly to just get rid of that boomer, because since the boomer was in raider power armor, I couldn't manage to one-shot it and deal with it before it would shoot off a fat man. And in other games, when it did shoot off a fat man, I was protected enough by this pillar that I didn't have to uh, die. Reload. <laughs> Anyways, I built this here large wall section here because of uh, this here consideration. This bluff face. I didn't mean, want raiders spawning up here or getting up here or whoever is attacking. Because one of the spawn points for this spot, uh, place is in this general vicinity. So I've seen it beneficial to me to go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do this little trick of entering into workshop mode. And just selecting a piece, walking through, deselecting that piece, it pops back into place, and I'm inside instead of having to walk all the way around. Now initially, this place comes with uh, is this little metal shack here. There is this whole assembly. There are a few plants over there. Okay, there's this here base. Um, it comes with this little portion of the walkway. I did add these two spot uh, little shack floors here. But the rest of that is there. Um, this part is here. And this part here is there. You know, those stairs. In addition to that is the annoyance of these stairs. I wish I could get rid of them. But there is a, um, a platform that these were leading up to. And it does have a shack wall leaning against it. However, once you move the platform, the shack wall just disappears. 
there was also a, one of the guard posts. Um, and it does come already with a small generator, three power pylons, with three power pylons, comes with those already, comes with um, the construction lights and wires connecting all that together. So, it is kind of beneficial. It comes with all that stuff automatically. Plus, in addition, you get the loot from the Raiders and such. So, I built that large wall on that side to deal with that. I built a uh, now this did take a lot of finagling because of how it's shaped. How the build area in this place is shaped. If you can tell here, it's kind of odd. And the um, the cliff face wall gets in a problem right over there. There's a small cluster of rocks on the other side of that wall as well. And there's also that area there. Now that cliff in face extends up to the edge here of these. Now I started off building in this area. So it's let's see if you can see it. No, this one doesn't actually have it clipping through. But there's a small, that little piece of rock right there. Actually, just kind of clipping through. Yeah. That little small chunk of rock right there sometimes gets in the way. So I started building here, this here section, and that there corner. And then we this L shape, and then Max moved it in due place. And then I just continue to auto connect all the way around to the end over there of that tall wall. I also have connected this in order to um, position and then I just built down from there in order to position this side in place. I've set up this as my market area here. There's a, where I put my water tower and my water farm. Here's where I've expanded upon the farm area. Mm -hmm. I crammed in the uh, Brahmin trough over there to keep it out of the way. I put the uh, station in. Now this thing here, yes, it's very odd. You go up here to kind of get a better angle at it. This is actually one of the spawn points for enemies in this here settlement. The spawn point is actually one here, there's one on the other side of that wall out there towards those trees and that car, and then there's one on the other side of this wall as well. I found this quite annoying, so I eventually just decided I'm bringing to box them in like I have at other places and just let the turrets take care of them so we need to minimize the damage to everything. Now going over here, now this structure, this part is, it does already come with it and these posts here are not movable but i found that it does have auto connect abilities so i built that whole section over there auto connected to this here which was already pre-existing and i found that to be quite nice and then of course i just tried to tidy it up the walls to block the gaps there now these here 
shacks are floating why is that open that's not cool I initially had built a, a huge platform set these shacks in place and they removed the platform I built I had actually used shack floor as well And that's fixed now. There's just beds in there, beds in there. There's the caravan rest stop or caravan trading post. Got a rest stop. They just come there and that's it. But this is all auto connected. This is actually yeah, the last time other spawning point for enemies is in this general vicinity. Let's go here. Actually, maybe let's see it from here. You see how this uh, rock face it kind of sticks close enough that it chose to build this, this here to Nothing block to that. Point. No, we do not. No, that's pretty far. Can we have selected? Yes. But that's it for um, the outpost here. That's what I've built. Hopefully that does give you some ideas. Oh wait, no. Actually, yes, there's one more important thing I want to cover. Going out towards the entrance here. There is a... Uh, I guess it's supposed to be a military checkpoint. It's not really a military checkpoint. There's the uh, construction light where it comes on the back with the end for this place. Okay, this right down here. Um, on top of that ruined trunk front end there. And. It's not really green. There's usually a shopping cart right here. Those will spawn uh, machine gun turrets. In machine gun turrets, sometimes there will be an additional raider over there as well. But that's with what I've built here. The defensive turrets here will engage and start shooting at them. When they spawn from time to time, so I found that quite useful because that helps. To, sometimes they will drop as part of their loot the uh, enhanced targeting cards or the uh, I think it's just the enhanced targeting cards. I don't recall if they even drop the biometric scanners as well. But the enhanced targeting cards are actually useful for building uh, primarily the defenses. I recall that they're also used in building the radio recruitment beacon. I don't remember if they're utilized in anything else off the top of my head, but for defensive turrets, they're useful. So that's why I built this out this far, is to get those defensive turrets in range that they can and will start shooting at this stuff. And those will be destroyed. Go check for free, effectively free um, turning cards.